Hi, I'm going to talk you through figure 5, which is epitope mapping for anti N9 monoclonal antibodies. This is interesting because before this work, it was not known how many antigenic sites on the H7N9 neuraminidase were recognized by human B cells. And the overall finding of the work is that diverse epitopes and sites are recognized. So let me talk you through the structure of NA. NA exists in a tetramer, so there's one, two, three, four protomers in that structure. And NA9 is also interesting because it has not only an enzymatic active site, but it also has a hemoabsorption site which may contribute to attachment. And so these are interesting sites uh, that possibly could be recognized by antibodies. So we performed a series of studies and found the epitopes for five of the most interesting antibodies. The epitope footprint determined by crystallography or cryo-EM reconstruction from the accompanying paper by Wilson and Ward is shown by uh, line outlines, and the residues that were discovered with decreased labeling or deuteration level in hydrogen deuterium exchange mass spec are shown in solid color on the surface. So if we look at the four antibodies shown here, uh, the first one, NA45, sits right on top of the light cyan uh, enzymatic site as does NA73, sits on the enzymatic site, whereas NA80 is on the lateral ridge and it's nowhere near the heme absorption site or the enzymatic site. NA63, the same thing, it's on the lateral ridge. Uh, and finally, there's a fifth antibody that's interesting. Uh, for this one, we need a side view uh, of the tetramer. And on the right, you can see the footprint from crystallography and the residues from uh, proteomics, and this antibody spans two protomers. It's a quaternary epitope, and it's on the side of the tetramer. Then in B, we show two-dimensional class averages from electron microscopy of N9, Na alone, or in complex with FABs, and this is just the tetramer alone, uh, and we discovered five different binding poses for these major antibodies that I showed you before, uh, and really that cartoon uh, is derived from these data, so these are the two-dimensional class averages where you see different angles uh, that we can estimate uh, from the complexes. So uh, that's how we uh, discovered the epitopes and the binding poses, and it's interesting because they're very diverse.